<laughs> well, hello. Thank you very, very much for joining us for another wonderful episode of Bionic TV. And for the first time, of course, we're doing this not at the weekend, but on a Thursday at 6 p.m. So we really do appreciate you you joining us for this new time. Uh, and there's loads of reasons for this. The first one is that we can bring in guests from over the pond, as we say. Uh, and that's what we've got today, a wonderful guest who's part of the Vionic team. And just before I introduce her, I just want to let you know that the actual competition we're running today during the session is to win a pair of our Vionic shoes from our website, Vionic co.uk um, of your choice so all you need to do is ask a question throughout to, throughout this session right now and uh, you could be the lucky person who's picked to win a pair of shoes of your own choice and we're not putting a restriction on that there's a pair that you like doesn't matter if it's the most expensive pair on the site you can pick them okay so uh, yeah ask away we have already had some great questions but please ask away now the person we're going to be asking the questions to over in California, where I bet the weather is even better than it is over here in the UK at the moment, <laughs> is Marisa Byrne. Marisa, hello. Thanks so much. For Hi. Me. Thank you for uh, having me. I feel so um, honored to be over here across the pond and talking to you right now. It's amazing. And the weather is nice, I have to say. Uh, I'm, I am sure it is. Now, we've had, we're having a mini heat wave at the moment. We certainly are down where I am in Whitstable in Kent, which is by, by the kind of southern uh, seaside end of, of the UK. But over in the California, it must be incredible. And I believe that there, where, of course, Varnick is based, the head office, you are the head of product and design. Is that right? That is correct. So I oversee the, the product management team, the design team, we have a development team and a commercialization team. So it's basically from a concept until you see it in the store. So. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we've got you to thank for all the great designs. <laughs> My fantastic team, I have to say, <laughs> who you, you should really be thanking. But um, yes, we have a we have a, a great, robust, fantastic, world class product team over here in California. So very lucky. Yeah. Well, do you know what we've got? We're, people are very excited because what I want to say first of all to people that are watching is that this is your opportunity to find out about some of the great new styles that are going to be dropping throughout autumn and winter twenty. So we've got styles we're going to show you, or Mar Marisa's going to show you, that are not yet available in the UK, that will be coming available up in September. And we've got some styles that are literally just dropped right now. And Marisa's going to take us through the, the idea behind them, what inspired them, and where we're going as well. So this is a great opportunity. You've got questions about Varnic design, uh, the kind of the way we want to move forward, your love of Varnix, anything like that, ask away, get involved, you can win those shoes. And we do have our first question to you, Marisa. Ooh, uh, nice. This is a, a great question. This is coming uh, from Candida Smith. And Candida said that, how do you go about designing a shoe collection during lockdown? <laughs> that is a fantastic question. Um, it is definitely challenging. Um, but the, the interesting part is the design aspect is we do a lot of work behind. So before even pen comes to paper, there's a lot of work that we work on behind the scenes where it's we're trying to see what um, the customer is really looking for that maybe we don't have, um, what the customer is really buying right now. Obviously, the times have been changing just drastically, almost on a weekly basis of seeing what the needs are. So we kind of do all that work up front and put together kind of a range plan so that by the time the designers are actually designing into it, it's easier for them to also have that ability to be at home working right now. So that part of designing is, is I would say, attainable and easier to do. It's the materialization that gets a little tough. A lot of us are having materials sent to our houses. Um, me and the design director are going to be we're putting together material palettes. The designers all have them in their homes. Um, and a lot of shoes are getting delivered. My husband can attest to that um, to our houses, <laughs> which is interesting. And then just a lot of virtual phone calls, like everyone else is kind of having to work and, and adjust as well in this time. So a lot of meetings, but we're, we're, we're finding out some efficiencies that we probably wouldn't have found out before. So there is some good to, you know, having to be forced in this situation. So do you, do you walk into a room and, you know, suddenly find you, see your husband there trying on a pair of 
Barnix, the literally yeah. just arrived, you know, hopefully the men's style, you know. He does, he actually gets into it because he knows, you know, it's, and I mean, if you go into our room, I just, it looks like a design, I mean, that's all the sketches are and the, there's material things hanging from walls and color palettes everywhere. So we've kind of all built our own little mini design studios. So luckily he's very patient. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure he loves it. Everyone, everyone loves having some free shoes to wear. Um, okay, great question from Candida, thank you. So next question, this is from Lucy Morrison. How many designs do you create for each collection and how many make it to the final cut? Ah, that's a really good one too. Um, it kind of depends on what the construction is. So if we're dealing with like an athletic shoe, those are very, those have a lot of components, a lot of layering, a lot of colors that intersect. So there's going to be a few more designs. So say we need two skews or two upper patterns on a shoe. A designer will typically design about eight going into that because we will probably go to sample about four and then we'll end up on like two or three. So close to 50%, we will end up going to coming to fruition. And then the other 50%, either we end up saving those designs for another season, or maybe it's just that design story didn't quite make it through. Sometimes if it's like strippy straps versus like a wavy strap, and then we, we realize we really like the wavy strap with the material and the color palette of that season, we'll save that other story maybe for another season um, and how that will kind of fit in. So it depends, yeah. Actually, I, I, it's made me think of a question. Has there has there has there been a, a really a shoe over the last year that almost didn't make it? That was almost was going to be was going to be you know kind of like no, we're not going to do it. And then you did do it, and it's been really successful. You know, there's kind of a few of those that end up, and especially the ones where we push the limit a little bit. So, like in the past season, we had we started playing with cutouts and sneakers. Like there's an adore the Adore sneaker that we have, that's a great example. It has side cutouts and it was just a little bit more for, we hadn't played in that realm and it turned out to be one of our top styles on our athletics. So there is a lot of those and I love those surprises, especially the ones where we're like, Ooh, I don't know, this is really bringing, pushing the brand a little bit forward. And then when those really work and the consumers respond and like it, it's just very exciting for us to, to see that. Great, great yeah. answers. Thank you. This is this is brilliant. This is great for me to know as well. Um, so another great question here. This is from Don McCulloch, and she said, uh, "What's your personal favorite design?" Ah, What's your personal favorite. I love that. Okay, so I am actually going to show you because I did bring some samples home so that I could show you some of these. I'm actually wearing this right now. Ooh. So this is our new Rochelle sneaker. Um, it really goes after that whole retro sneaker trend that you're really seeing throughout the market and so many different brands. Um, the color blocking on this is just fantastic. This one is actually all new buck, so it's really smooth. I love the details of just even the heel. You can see all the different colors, but it's just also super wearable. Um, here's another colorway. I'm wearing the white version right now. Oh, um, I love that. I love the yellow. Isn't that beautiful? It's just, it's so fun, but it's also just really wearable. I think the greatest thing about the athleisure movement is just being able to really wear these with, I'm wearing like a, well, I'm wearing this for you, Keith, because I typically am not in a suit jacket at home. I'm gonna tell you that. But my suit jacket with like a little t-shirt and some jeans, and then I'm wearing the white little trainers. It's one of those things that I feel like if I am, you know, in the office or whatnot, and then I needed to go transition and go to happy hour or go out to dinner with my friends or take my kids somewhere. <laughs> I am completely ready to go because it still is a complete look, which I really like. So that's it, it, hands down my favorite. I, I remember seeing a, a sample for the Rochelle um, a, few, a few months ago prior to, prior to lockdown. And it struck me as, yeah, the materials being beautifully soft. It struck me as being very structured as well, re really, really supportive. And very quite slimming on the foot. Is that right? Yeah. Quite, it, it slims the foot. Look at that. Yeah, it does. It's it's it has you have all the support. You have your mid your your midsole is gonna have you. We have the same foot bed also a technology in all of our shoes. So you have that incredible support. This has the built-in foot bed in this version. But yeah, you do you, you feel this, but it's also incredibly soft and incredibly pliable around your foot. So it's a very, very comfortable shoe that also has fantastic fashion and trend to it. Okay, so that, 
just 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 so people know, that's going to be dropping on the Varnick. Uh, dot uk website in september okay so not long to wait just over a month before you can get hold of <laughs> michelle uh, and i believe that's going to be coming in at oh let's have a look here i can't see i'm trying to get the price 100 pounds it's going to be around 100 pounds that one so uh, really beautiful 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 trainer thank you for that now that's one of the five hero stars we've got another four we are going to share with you and maybe something extra as well because marisa has it all <laughs> she's got more samples than you know than the than i have certainly that's brilliant <laughs> another question for you here marisa um where does your inspiration come from that's from belinda munnings where does your inspiration come from oh i love that question because this is that's one of our favorite parts of our job honestly it comes from several areas honestly uh, there we have we go on a trip usually um, to Europe is usually where we kind of start with things. So actually I was in London in February before everything kind of happened. So my favorite city, by the way, um, <laughs> we, we travel, we go to a lot of material shows. We'll travel in Europe, kind of see globally what's going on and we'll shop the big stores. We'll shop the small stores. We'll shop the independent stores, the local stores, everything. So it's, it's a very wide range that we try to cover when we do do a lot of these shopping trips. We do it locally as well. Um, we also have a lot of like trend services, like we have a color um, service that we use that comes from Paris that kind of helps us know exactly where the color direction is really going to go. We also watch runway shows a lot and we do pull little details in from the runway shows um, as well as we go on an inspiration trip as a team. Um, for each season, we kind of pick an area that we think of, okay, what's going to be our um, our, our focus on this season or where do we think we need to go to achieve that, to really gather that inspiration. And we take all the macro trends that we're researching and then we go to these areas and we kind of get the details that kind of streamline everything together because we have a lot of different collections and different categories. So kind of finding those details that make it so when everything sits together, it tells a very cohesive story. Um, so that's kind of a hodgepodge of how we really gather a lot of our inspiration but it's crazy I and mean, even for spring this past season we went to tulu mexico mm -hmm. and one of the designs came from a chair because we saw this amazing hand woven chair and that was where a print was born from that and then you saw a lot of the artisanal woven details into the line so those are kind of little pieces of how we kind of put together a line and stay inspired this this woven detail here that you see on the yes. you know, woven detailing here that we've got embossed yep. on the yeah on on the farrow here as well and then you've got yep the, that was one of them um, the embossing you see so that's like one of those little details that you know we know it might not necessarily be like obvious to everyone but it does really make the beauty of it the aesthetics really come alive because they do come from a very true place. I agree. And my favorite thing about the spring summer collection would I only say it very quickly and then move on was the dream catcher feel, which you can yeah. see here. Oh, you know, I love that. Yeah. And it's it's so beautiful. It's such a great way that you know of, of working those perforations into into the upper. Um so you know, we really do see it. So okay, so spring summer was to loom. Mm -hmm. What was the inspiration? Where did you go? I'm so jealous of this because basically like, you <laughs> sit there in the office and you go, right, where do we want to go next? Where haven't we been? And we'll, we'll call that the inspiration for our shoes. So you ended up going to where? For we went to Vancouver, Canada for this fall. Um, a huge push and something that we really wanted to focus on was really bringing true waterproof boots to our consumers because that was something we were hearing. They really wanted a true waterproof. We've done a lot of water resistance, which is so fantastic. But that true waterproof where you can actually, and I'll actually hold up, this is the Brin. Oh, yeah. And I apologize that I'm you know, I never like to show the black shoes as much because it's harder to see. But this one, you can actually see the textural difference between um, the gore here and also the leather. So it's quite nice. But this is fully waterproofed. So it's seam sealed. And you can actually step in a puddle like up to here and you're not going to get any water and the leather is completely waterproof. So Vancouver was amazing because we really did focus in on bringing that. And we also like even when we were there, it's not just about, you know, looking at shoe companies. We also look at a lot of apparel companies like Lululemon. That's where their brand headquarters are. So just even going into those kind of places and seeing how things are merchandised. 
and how they're really telling their story and bringing it to life. Hudson Bay is another one that was, you know, their headquarters are there too. So we really kind of try to bring a lot of that in and just learn as much as we possibly can. So the trips are fun, but they're also pretty exhausting because we do go from morning to night because we only have like three days, like pack in everything we can going and just trying to get as much of the culture as we possibly can as well. So is there a, is there a, uh, a style called the moose, which we're going to see? <laughs> <laughs> no, but now I want to add it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Now, look, I've, I've got to say, hold up. Can you hold up the grin again? Because yes, this, I've got to say to everyone watching, this is without doubt the best ever boot I believe that Bionic have produced. It is incredible. I've seen the sample. The leather is so. It, it, it literally is. The, it's so beautiful. The quality of the leather. You've got the faux fur lining on the inside, haven't you? Yes, about. The and this is a sample, so I apologize for the giant thing that says do not resell. Um, but you can see there's the waterproof symbol on it that's stamped in here, and you have the fur lining, and then even the footbed we took and put like almost like this flannel lining on it. So it just has just a little bit more of that winter warmth that you kind of need during these seasons when things get chilly. And I know it gets really chilly in your area. It gets chilly here too. We get a lot of rain, so no. Nope. Trust me, it's going to be a really big style for us. And that's going to be landing again in September on the website. And it's going to be, I think, around £150. And it will be the best £150 you've spent because you've got the removable footbed with that three-zone comfort that we all know and love. But, of course, it's the quality of the leather and the fact that you've got the double seaming on the zip as well. And it's a storm zip, isn't it, that, that closes yeah. right in. It's, yeah. it's Oh, it's just so, it's such a great boot. When I saw it, I was, I was drooling. <laughs> I love the tread. You have a really good tread also with kind of more of the lug sole. So again, you're going to have that comfort built into this. Also the look, this is the aesthetic that is also really turning for the fall is kind of this luggier boot, but it also just has that functionality to it. And that's the, the best thing is when you, you get the design right, you get the materials right, but the functionality and the comfort, most important, because that's what you need. To, that's what you're spending your money on, too. No, <laughs> I, I, agree. Right. I agree. Great stuff. Thank you. Okay, so you've seen now two of our five main hero styles for Autumn and Winter 20 before anyone else has seen them, uh, which is really, really, apart from the people who design them, of course. Uh, I've got another <laughs> question for you here. <laughs> so uh, another great question. Um, do, and this is interesting because this kind of feeds back into something you've already said, Marisa. Do any runway trends feature in the next Vionic collection? That's from Lucy Banwell. Do any runway trends feature? I love that. I love these, these questions are fantastic. Um, yes. So I'm going to show you kind of a few examples of how, you know, obviously you we take the runway, you can't take it like literally. You kind of take the pieces and then we kind of figure out, okay, how does that work for Vionic? And one runway trend we saw, this is the Bianca, which you can see the asymmetrical, which was another one runway trend that we saw was the asymmetrical and also the tortoise. So the designer, Annie, who's just fantastic, she took the tortoise that she saw and applied it to the back strap. And it's just that lovely little detailed touch that just transforms it and makes it so incredibly different. And then on other colors that we have, here's another example. Then you kind of see it, it's a little bit harder to see. Let me see if I can push this a little bit forward. It's the buckle detail, it just has the little tortoise buckle. So it's little hits like that. And again, you see the asymmetrical, which is, inc this is so flattering on the foot, like incredibly flattering on the foot. Is and that the wine? This, is that the wine this color? is the wine color, yeah. The color is white. Is it? I'm sorry? That's in suede, is it wine This suede? is kid suede, yes. Yeah. Same here is the blue, which I absolutely love this blue. It's kind of a midnight deeper it's very jewel tones that's another big trend that we saw for coming into this fall was more of the jewel tones so you'll see that a lot here and this is extremely soft this is a really really amazing kid suede that's got a very short nap so it's not very hairy um, and it just picks up the color so perfectly mm. they they look stunning so they, i mean that's a great that's a great answer there for Lucy. Lucy, there you can see how the runway trend has, has gone straight in there with a the style. So that's the Bianca style. And again, that's going to be landing in September on the website for £100. And I believe, is that the is that the perk heel? Is that the 3.1 inch yep. type heel? Yes, this is my favorite heel. 
actually, just as a as a wearing heel, I wear this heel nonstop just because it's the one show, it's the one heel height that I can wear all day long and my feet don't kill me. I've actually worn this in an airport. So that to oh, me wow. is like the true test is when you can wear a heel and you're in the airport. Cause I used to like, I used to see Victoria Beckham when she'd be in the airport wearing her giant Louboutins. I'm like, how on earth are you really walking to the airport in six inch heels? This, I have to say, uh, this passed my test, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, it's, it looks like, again, a stunning style. So a variety of different colors, but that that black kid suede with the tortoise shell, tortoise shell heel, I'm sorry, the tortoise shell, the tortoise shell uh, ankle strap. Really, really stunning, isn't it? Really stunning. And of course, that, uh, as with all of our elevated, what we call our elevated style, you've got that wonderful support that matches the natural shape of your foot. So podiatrous design, really, really important. Brilliant stuff. Okay, I'm gonna, another question, because we've got loads, loads, um, here we go. Um, oh, question hot off the press here. And remember, if you do have any questions you wanna ask Marisa, ask them live right now, and you could win a pair of our shoes of your choice from our website. Yeah, anything you want from our website, you could choose it. Just the one pair, we can't go to more than one. But uh, it's a great, great chance for you to get involved. So all you need to do is ask a question, it's that simple. And one of the people that's just asked a question is Loressa Bradley. And she said, uh, what are your best shoes for height, stability, and a bit of glamour? Ooh, I like that. Um, well, it kind of depends. I think the perk heel, has a lot of stability. I don't know if this is necessarily too high. Um, the heel that I just shown, and here's like the boot version. To me, this is pretty stable because it's chunkier and it's thicker. Um, what's, we also, what's that? What's that? This is the Kaylee. Sorry, I just like throw shoes up here. This is the Kaylee boot, um, which is another one of this. I would say boot wise, this is my favorite coming down the pipeline. Um, let me show you the tote version because it's a little bit easier to see on camera. You can see That's it there. You can, stunning. Now, you can actually see the sweater here. Yeah, that is gorgeous. It's, it's got a real, um, it's got a real sense of Italy about that as well, hasn't it? I've seen when I was in Italy last year, I saw, I saw, um, you know, a lot of the ladies really stylishly dressed, wearing kind of similar, similar feel. That's beautiful. What are the materials? So this is actually, again, this is going to be that really smooth nap suede. And then this is a knit. And this is water resistant, I have to say. So the, the, this whole entire, this is a completely water resistant. So if you are in the rain, it does beat off. And then we have the knit up here, which I love this because it absolutely conformed to your, to however it fits for you. Wearing this with like cropped pants would be super cute wearing it with like, you could have like your skinny jeans if you wanted to wearing it with a long skirt. There's just so many versatile things to wear with this boot with how it's designed. So this is definitely one of my favorites. And to answer her question, I feel like this heel height is very stable. We also do have um, uh, the, it, the rosy, I believe it's a papaya and it's a little shorter of a square heel. And so it's slightly shorter. It's about, I think right under two inches. That one has a lot of stability as well. And then I will just sneak and tell you that for spring 21, we will have a very small wedge that's like, it's like a stacked leather wrap that is very short and very stable as well. But unfortunately, you do have to wait until next year. So, but that is coming down the pipeline. <laughs> We'll have to we'll have to get you back on to to tease, to tease those <laughs> styles as well for us. This is this is great because again this is this is the first time so many of us are seeing these styles that are going to drop. So the one you've just shown us is the Kaylee, and that is available now on the website. So if you've seen the the style there um, that's being held up by Marisa, that's available now, and it's it's saying 150 pounds taupe and black, and you're holding up the taupe. Yep, beautiful yeah, zipper. Here's the, the funny thing is, I know what people are going to say, Marisa, when they when they see this boot or when they when they see it, um, you know, either either in store or they go online and they see it, they see photographs people wear. It, they're going to go, my word, that's a bionic, because <laughs> because it's we, we, you know the style was moved. I mean, you've been with the brand for three years now, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Have you yes. seen a development? In, in, in the way the style has, has moved forward during that time. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think we've, you know, it's one of those things you never want to just jump in and just completely revamp something. It's been a kind of a slower process of really trying to introduce our, uh, our consumers to get them more comfortable with some of the styles that we're kind of introducing. And so we kind of push, and this is, 
This is actually a great sound when you talked about like what's something that you know you had in line and you didn't really know. So this style is one of the styles that we knew it was kind of pushing it a little bit. And then our, our VP of sales, Jerry, was like, that's my favorite boot. I love that boot. Like, I want every account to have that boot. And that's one of those ones where we're like, fantastic. Like, we get really excited about that because a lot of the ones that, you know, maybe are typically our favorite don't necessarily make it in the line because it's not as commercial or it's not, you know, something that everyone's really going to. It's a little bit more niche. So this is one of those boots that I feel like it does. It pushes us a little bit more forward and, but it still offers that exact same comfort and that exact same support. So it's really our goal. How do you, how do you name them? I mean, you know, I mean, I mentioned before, I mean, you know, that, that one could easily have been called the moose, but you've got <laughs> You know, so, so how do you, how do you We're going to have a moose in the line now, just for you. <laughs> um, naming is definitely something that sometimes, I mean, I'm going to be perfectly honest. If it's a place we went to, you're going to see a lot of like areas, lakes, anything that like we've um, kind of incorporated into the names. And then sometimes we have so many styles. We really do like get the baby name book out. And we'll just like look through some names that we think are going to work and that maybe, you know, I mean, some of the ones that end up becoming big, we're kind of like, oh, God, I wish we named that. Maybe something a little bit more <laughs> that sounds, a, rolls off the tongue a little easier. <laughs> so, so there is a, you're saying there could be a Lake Kaylee within in, in Vancouver. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> there could be, or a street name. That have, we write them down as we go along. It's kind of an interesting process. So if anybody ever wants to submit names that they think would be great shoe names, by all means, um, I, we're very open. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still waiting for the Keith. I'm still I, waiting for the Keith. You haven't done a Keith yet. No, but you know what? There's going to be a move to <laughs> Keith in the next line. It's a really, it's not a good name. Trust me. People are not naming their children Keith anymore for a reason. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Um, so here we go. We've got another great question. Um, do you have a, a good variety of colors to go with any outfit? This is from Pauline Hollis. Uh, and Pauline's great. I, I, I just need to say, Pauline, thank you so much, Pauline, because Pauline joins us for every single live that we do. Hi. She's, she's, you know, she's a big, big supporter of the brand. Um, Hi, as Pauline. I know many of you watching are. <laughs> but she said, uh, do you have a, a good variety of colors to go with any outfit? Oh yes, that is one thing we are not lacking is color options to go with every outfit. There are some good blends too. So we do have a lot of snakes that are gonna be in the line coming down for fall. And I love, my favorite thing about exotics is it usually blends a few colors together and it kind of gives you that ability to wear it with a lot of multiple outfits. So we have like a spotted story that has like a very graphic black and white, which is so fantastic to wear with so many different things you can, I mean, obviously there's black and white that you can wear it with, but even with brown, like that pop on your foot, something graphic really kind of, or even just a color. If you're wearing color and then you just have that shoe on at the bottom, it's fantastic. And so we do try to always make sure that we're picking um, prints and those kind of things that you can be worn with a lot of things like leopard. I think the one thing that people love about leopard is you can wear it with so many different colors and it is just, it's kind of a statement at the same time. So it's a neutral. These are becoming neutrals, which um, I'm a big fan of because I like to be able to, I start with my my shoes, by the way. When I put outfits together, I actually choose my shoe and then I reverse put my outfit together based on what shoes I want. It's very weird, but I've been doing that forever. So I'm very aware of like things when you can't wear them with a lot of, you know, different colorways and when you're only pigeonholed and wearing that with certain colors, that's what even this blue, this is a great example. This blue could be something that completely pops something, but also wearing this with denim is fantastic mm. because it has that, it just lends itself to be very friendly with a lot of different things. And I have to say, I wore these with a pair of white crop pants too. It's just, there's so many different ways to wear certain colorways that can match a variety in your wardrobe. Fantastic, thank you. Now, would you believe it? We're already at virtually just we're, we're 30 seconds off the 30 minute mark, uh, Marisa. Oh, yeah. So it's gone so quickly. So officially we should be ending now. Um, I, I'm just going to say there's, there's, there is people saying, can we keep going? So if you'd like us to keep going, um, let us know. Just, just kind of comment um, on this um, on this live below and just let us know if you want us to keep going. And we'll gladly do that.
Alter you know, alternatively, if you want us to shut up, again, you can comment below. <laughs> we'll shut up and get out of your life. Um, you know, let us know, talk to us. And remember, when you are asking questions to Marisa, you could be entered into that competition to win a pair of harmonics of your choice from our website. And all the shoes that Marisa has shown you so far are either on the website now or going to be uh, by September. Um, now, there is, um, I want to ask you actually uh, about the style, because you mentioned Spot there, and I know that there's quite a lot of uh, the kind of Spot influence coming into... Uh, uh -oh. Here we go. Oh, I'm back. I hope I yeah. dropped out there, everyone. There we go. Internet, internet problems, the world over. Okay, so you, you, we were talking about spot. Well, mm -hmm. we were talking about spot before. Um, and I believe there is an update to the Savannah, which has been yeah. really, really popular, that's including the spot on the vamp. Is that right? Could you tell us more about it? Absolutely. So it's this really beautiful um, spotted material that's got this like white suede base and it has this black flocking. So it actually has this textural difference. Um, and then also you've got the graphic of just this white with the black spots. And it's just, it's a great wearable item that again, you can wear it with a lot of different things. I love it on the Savannah because it's just that plug on the shoe. So you kind of have almost like, you know, a pretty traditional silhouette. I would say that that's like one that you should, I would, I have so many several of these that they're just like these flats you can wear anywhere. Right. And so then you add the plug of just the little spot and it just kind of gives it that punch. And it makes it special um, and just really on trend. I love that shoe. The Savannah yeah. been one of the greatest shoes that we've had flat wise, super comfortable. It is, it is a great, great shoe. Again, super soft leathers. And this is this lovely, stylish uh, vamp detailing there with the animal print really, really works well. So that is this is it's this bit here, which is the white, kind of white and black spot, isn't it, on there? Yes, um, right there really really beautiful so that again is one of the new styles um, and that is going to be so check my notes here so i'm giving you the exact right uh, that's available now would you believe for 100 pounds on the website so again that could be one of the shoes that you you choose if you're the lucky winner for asking questions now talking of questions we're going to continue we've uh, we've been told that people want us to continue that's always a good sign <laughs> you're doing the right thing thanks for okay um, now Marisa, this is a really good question, actually. Um, this is from Mickey D.E. I'm not sure if that's Mickey D or Mickey D.E. and it sounds like something else. Could be one of those posh double barrel surnames. Let us know, Mickey. Um, <laughs> what shoes would you recommend a nurse to wear? What shoes would you recommend a nurse to wear? Nurse to wear. Well, we do have a Bionic Pro um, line that actually has an anti-slip bottom. Um, the Kiara is one that's like an athletic style. Uh, that is pretty much a, it's, it's a traditional sneaker, but it does have an anti-slip bottom that definitely helps in the nursing field. Um, if that one isn't maybe your style or you don't like that one as much, I personally really like um, the Adela is a style that's on this Del Mar bottom construction. It has a dual density. So the comfort of standing, because I'm and bless you for being a nurse during this. I mean, honestly, I can't thank the nurse is enough for what they're doing, what they're putting, putting themselves on the line right now. So I am so happy to be telling you like, oh, please, like if there's like the footbed of being standing on all day long, that is one of the best styles to be able to wear because it does bring you that comfort. You don't get that aching that you usually get in your arch because you are supported throughout the day. And that dual density pod, it kind of makes it so you've got the support of the hardness of the of the EVA, but then you also have that support um, with the dual density that kind of makes it so that it's just much more comfortable to be standing all day. So agree, agree, and I think that's again, it's about comfort, isn't it? Because if you're if you're a nurse, you're on your feet, you're doing a lot of walking, um, you know, long shifts. It's it, you know, it can be really really tough. Um, this is this is another style, and I don't know. Again, I'll, I'll have to double check with, with with you, but the Rosa was certainly a style that we had before which is that dark black. Now, again, um, you know, that we have a lot more shoes in the collection that you would say are, are more stylish, you know, in some mm -hmm. respects, or maybe you think this is the, the epitome of style. It's so subjective. But the great thing about this is it's dark, so it goes with the uniform, um, and you've got a really good advanced outsole with, with more rubber in there as well, which gives you a bit more bounce. And there's also the kind of via vents breathability on the orthotic that's removable. So it's a really good slip-on style, 
um, that again you can you know you can wear if you're on your feet a lot. So perfect for perfect for nursing. It's not part of the pro range that has the anti-slip um, uh, kind of footbed that you're that you, you're talking about. Um, but it certainly gives you the comfort as well. It certainly gives you the comfort. Um, right, I've got another question here for you as well. Um, Ali White says, what are some classic styles to invest in? What are some classic styles to invest in? Quite an open question there. So, that is. I, so this is, I always approach things and, I, and I'm one of those people that I invest in a few classic things that I can wear throughout time. And I think having like a round toe ballet flat, like a pointy toe ballet flat, like those would be two things that you could just be interchangeable and having that constant continuity. I think a good boot is also really, really important. Like even if it's, we have a, a new boot coming out called the Cameron that's also waterproof and it's a good ankle boot. It has like just a slight little heel. So it's always gonna be comfortable. It's always gonna be on trend. It has more of an almond toe. So again, those are things that it's, like, it's not gonna be outdated in a few years. So I feel like having a classic boot, having some a few classic flats and then a trainer that you really feel you know, comfortable in that's it's really supportive for you, but also something that you can wear with several different outfits. I think kind of covering all those different categories is really important to to have those like investment pieces that you can also just slip on, like front of closet. You don't have to think much. You know, if you're in a rush, if you're like me where I'm chasing a child, a three-year-old or a five-year-old all the time, I don't have a lot of time sometimes to really sometimes I just have to pull those out. So I think those good pieces that just kind of go with everything classic styling are really important to have actually the savannah is a great classic you know flat to have that i feel like that style is not really it's not going to go out that almost like looser look it's still it's constantly been trending so i think that's another really great option to to really have that investment piece in that you know you can always slip on and it's just going to make you feel better you know throughout the day yeah, no, it's it's a great style. You're right, and of course, as with as with all Vionics, if you're just tuning in for the first time, you know most of them have removable footbeds. Some of them uh, they're built in and may have memory foam over the top, but you've got a three zone comfort shaped like your foot, which is just so important for your alignment and just for everyday comfort. So so important. Brilliant. So Savannah is a good go to everyday shoe. Um, another question here for you, and this one is from Tony Harrison, and this is one for the men. Get in, Tony. Get in. Here we go. <laughs> We need a bit more for the man, men, men around. <laughs> um, do you have any new men's styles in the collection, and what can we expect to see? Thank you, Tony. Um, what, so, any, any, anything for the men? We do. We have a new style coming um, down the pipeline for fall. It's called the Trent, and it's actually a kind of a version of this style um, on the on this on the Rochelle, but it's actually the men's version, so it's not going to be as colorful necessarily but there's some beautiful the leathers are just premium and then we also have some new buck versions coming down the pipeline and they're i wish i had one here it was silly of me not to think of bringing one of the men's styles here but it is a great style um i my husband was like so excited for this one to be coming out because it really is taking trend with also just something that's very wearable and every day so we do have some new trainers coming down um the pipeline well, I'm excited. I'm excited for that myself. <laughs> um, brilliant stuff. Okay, another question here. This is from uh, Christine Jochum, um, and it's to do with widths and, and fitting. Um, are you going to increase your range of wide fit? Uh-oh. <laughs> I think, I don't know if I'm live or he, something froze. But I think what he was going to ask me if I'm increasing any widths. I don't know if. Okay, well, I'm going to answer that question in case I am live and he's frozen. <laughs> we are going to be having a lot of. Sorry about that. Oh, you're back. I don't know if I was frozen or if you were frozen. <laughs> I'm back. I. Don't worry. Was, was I gone? You, you carried on. Somebody. Carried on. They heard, so they heard one of us. I'm still talking to everyone, <laughs> which is the important thing. Are you going to ask me about that? Marisa, I was, I was just saying to you, I was, I was just going to ask about the wits. Um, it was from Christine Joachim, and she was saying, are, 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 you go, are we going to increase our range of wider fit styles? Because sometimes 
when she watches um, QVC and she looks on the website, um, some of her favorite shoes are not necessarily wide enough for her. Yeah. Um, and I know in the US you have two width fittings, don't you? Yeah. Um, whereas in the UK, we tend to only be using one or offering one width fitting with the shoes. What, what's happening with that? Well, so typically our shoes just are regular, um, like the B is what the common um, width is across, you know, where we are, at least in the US. I forgot what the actual term is when in the UK. I think you guys are slightly different, but the, the medium is um, a little bit wider than normal. So our, our medium width is actually wider than normal. So that is something that I do say like sometimes try on some of our other ones that maybe just because it, especially if it's like a sneaker, there's a little bit more give usually to the upper pattern, but we do increase our width um, choices. We really kind of see, we it's something we have to open up all new tooling, which I'm sure you're like, what is that? But what it is is basically in the construction base. So we make sure that it's something that's resonating with the customer. And that's why you probably don't always see it offered in both. Um, and we're trying to to really make sure that when you guys are in ask when you guys ask for it, we really do pay attention and and make sure like oh we're getting a lot of requests for this, so we will go back out and open up a lot of wides. But that's kind of the reasoning behind it is just making sure it's something that resonates because we do have a lot of new launches that don't always necessarily hit. We're definitely not we're not perfect. We're not going to get it every single time, and so we do wait to kind of see like oh this is something that we really do need to expand on. So. Please always Brilliant. make sure you voice that, though, because it is important to us to make sure that no, you it's really, it's really good. That's a lovely message to you, Christine. Basically, if, if, you know, if, it, if it gets traction and it's successful, then expect to see it in wider styles at some point in the future, which is which is good. But sometimes when you're testing a shoe out and seeing whether they're, you know, it's popular, um, we, we, we limit sometimes the widths of, of how many widths are on offer. Um, but thank you for the questions. Well, look, you know, Wow, we've done uh, nearly 45 minutes. Thank you so much, Marisa, for giving us your time. Oh, you. Really, really appreciate it. And people have loved it. There's been some lovely feedback uh, coming in. So thank you so much for watching. Um, we do have someone who will be winning a pair of shoes. Amazing. Uh, we'll be contacting you. <laughs> and, you know, wow, so great to see how exciting a lineup of, of new shoes there is that are dropping now and, and throughout autumn and winter particularly in September. Can you just do me a favor and quickly hold up the Rochelle again? Because this is yeah. so gorgeous. Hold them up. Look at this. This coming in September, everyone. So beautiful. I've, I've held a pair of these myself. Some great colors. So beautiful. So supportive. Um, and just really, really. And like you say, it's really buying into that retro minimalist um, theme that we're seeing at the moment within, within footwear and athleisure footwear. Wow. Um, Marisa. Thank you so much from all of us here in the UK. We really appreciate you giving your time to us. Keep up the good work. You're oh. doing a fantastic job. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. And thank you for everybody who is tuning in and asking such fantastic questions. I swear this is one of the most engaged and amazing questions that I've heard in one of these. So I appreciate it. It's fun. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll be getting you back on soon. Don't worry. We want to find out more, we want more sneaky previews of, uh, of, of some of the shoes that are coming up. Keep up the good work. Say thank you from all of us here in the UK to your, your wonderful team in California. Uh, and I hope to speak to you again soon. Um, and to everyone that's watched, thank you so much. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your support of Bionic and the brand and what we're doing. Keep checking the website um, because new shoes dropping all the time at the moment. Some of the, some of the ones we've shown you and other new styles that we couldn't fit in uh, to this presentation today. And we're going to be doing uh, in the next Bionic TV in about a month's time. It's going to be monthly at the moment. Uh, and we're just trying out these new times. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all your comments, all your feedback. Stay supported. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.